here at Kawi Gakti Health Research Center here in Iqalibit Nunavut. Mm. Can you please describe your program? Um, so the program that I focus on is the Makimaptik Set Youth Wellness and Empowerment Camps. And so basically what the program is, is a program that we developed here at the center that are land-based, basically land-based uh, programs that follow that follow um, the eight Uyagai curriculum module. And this program was developed here at the center because there was a need in the communities. Communities were saying that they wanted they wanted a program to kind of follow um, for their land-based programs. Basically, the programs help increase protective factors for youth ages 8 to 13, and it's all culturally based and culturally relevant programming. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of things do the students do in the program? Well, the, the program, it can be run as a like an 8 to 10 day day camp or it can be run as an after school program. So throughout the program there are eight different modules in the program and the program is the eight, the, the eight, the eight different modules are strengthening coping skills, learning about building um, healthy relationships, learning about developing an awareness of, of your body and nutrition, as well as um, learning about the importance of um, crafting and exploring creativity and the arts, learning about personal wellness and how it's tied into community wellness, importance of taking care of community, and then learning about self-discovery, future planning, and then understanding informed choices and peer pressure, so coming up with skills to to be able to deal with real life situations and then celebrating the land and so connecting all the knowledge and the skills that they've learned sort of throughout the program and how it applies to being out on the land. And so those are the areas that the youth get to focus on. It's all sort of fun, hands-on learning and so they they do a lot of icebreakers, they do a lot of games, they do some worksheets, but they really get to connect with community members. A big part of the program is making sure that community members are coming in and also teaching these different subjects to the youth. And how do you measure the success of the program? Like, how do you evaluate the students' progress? Or... So... The way that we the way that we measure the program before the program starts, we do a pre-evaluation just to kind of get a baseline of how they're feeling that week or some of the subject areas that they might be we might be talking about. We we try to get an understanding of what they know about those subject areas, and then they go through the program, and we do a post-evaluation to see how the program has impacted them. Yeah, so we do pre- and post-evaluations. And from your perspective, or from the perspective of mathematics, what is Inuit education? That's a really broad question. Mm. So I'm, I'm trying to think of how, how I might answer that. What is in, Inuit education? Well, I mean, I guess it's all, like, it's all encompassing, right? So Inuit education, you're learning about traditional knowledge, you're learning about traditional values, you're learning about different customs, you're learning language, you're learning about spirituality, relationship with land, animals, with other people, with community members. Inuit education really is like, it's all, it's all encompassing and typically you're learning about those things from elders or you're learning about those things from knowledge or culture bearers and you're learning about it from your parents or different adults in the community and so 
from my personal perspective, that's what that's what Inuit education is. Mm-hmm. And I think we we try to include that in the program that we run um, as much as possible. Since it was a broad question, another way to have looked at it is mm-hmm. like what is the significant significance of the activities you offer in um, Makimalajik set, like from the from what you offer to the students for them to do, I guess. Where am I going? What is what is the significance of those? <laughs> oh, the significance of the activities. Well, I think some of the most important lessons that youth kind of get out of the Makimotik Set program is strengthened relationships with their peers, the people who are taking the program with them, and then with community members, so people who come in and and teach the program, or um, people that they interact with, not just because they're being taught through the program, but there's one of the modules, one of the things that's built in is this, the importance of giving back to the community, and so the youth actually plan an event where they uh, where they can pay it forward, where they can serve the community. Sometimes that looks like shoveling snow. Sometimes it's throwing a potluck for the community. It's kind of up to the youth what they decide what they want to do. And so I think that's one of the most significant teachings or things that kind of comes out of Mucky Mautic Set. And so strengthening relationships within the community. I think after so many great changes happened in our community, a lot of, and when I say our community, I, I would say, and speaking for like Inuit communities in general, a lot of those traditional ties started to break down. People in communities became less, not as close, I guess. And so for me, that's one of the most significant things that kind of comes out of this program. And with strengthening relationships, it strengthens the youth's, uh, the youth, their feeling of comfort. I guess it, it helps them to feel more confident that they they now have a me- uh, community members that they can that they can look to and learn from. Yeah, so that's one of the most important things mm-hmm. I think. And what is your vision for Inuit education over the next ten years? What would you like to see accomplished? So are you? Are you talking about globally or just here in Nunavut or...? It can be both or either one of them. It can be for Makimautik side or it can be for whole Nunavut. I guess another way to ask it is what is your vision for indigenous, for for the education of your people for the next 10 years or...? Mm-hmm. My vision for... Inuit education over the next 10 years is I think that the like when the Western education system came in it really fractured uh, well not just fractured but sort of tore apart traditional the way that Inuit were traditionally educated which was all day long um, their entire lives right it was very holistic learning was lifelong And then we were forced to sit in a classroom and learn from people who were not from our communities around subjects that didn't necessarily apply to what was happening in our communities. To some extent, that's that's actually still, uh, not to some extent, but to a great extent, that's still happening in our communities. And so I think for me, what I hope to see in the next kind of 10 years is our schools so the uh, that that sort of like western education those institutions and our communities and different organizations kind of coming together to to redefine what success means for our individual communities and then sort of remodeling how education is delivered, whether it's happening in partnership with different organizations like Awigakdit, or it's happening in people's homes, or 
it's entirely changed within the school system. And I know that's that's kind of a big a big vision. But I think that that's something that is going to, it's going to be necessary. I think it's a conversation that's already being had here in Nunavut. How can we change education to make it, make it effective to bring up graduation rates? And I think that's part of it is we have to redefine what it means to be successful in our communities and then develop what it is we're teaching our youth and community members from that definition of success.